Hey there, my name is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Crafty Kathy. If this is the first time that you've ever been to my channel, I want to say welcome and I am super excited that you're here. And if you're returning, you guys know I love you and I appreciate every single one of y'all. Today, I am tickled pink over these crafts that I have to show you. I have been so excited making these and I can't wait for you to see them. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that little red subscribe button. You're gonna love it because here on my channel, we have a lot of love and laughs and DIYs. But without further ado, let's jump into these DIYs so you can see what I've been cooking up for you this week. Mm-hmm. DIY number one is gonna be this gorgeous blessed sign. So I found this piece at the thrift store. It was painted black already, and in the middle, it's actually a mirror. But since they had covered it up, I wanted to do it white so I could put it in my new craft studio. So I spray painted it white. I did not give it a full thorough coat. I did two times to try to cover up the black because I'm gonna put black right back on it. I'm gonna distress it with my craft paint that I get from Dollar General. It's their black chalkboard paint and I just start off very slowly because it's best to start off very light because you can always you know add more but it takes a little bit more to take it back off so I just lightly went around it and you see all these little rivets and uh, divots in this thing they distressed so beautifully if you see anything like this at a thrift store that has all these little you know, divots and the the little squirrely things on it. I don't even know what you call it, but all this detail, okay? You better pick it up if you like to distress because this stuff distresses so beautifully. Look at this. When I started distressing the sides, it's like it came to life. It's so gorgeous. I needed a sign or a pretty picture or something to go right in the middle of my desk up on the wall. And when I found this, I knew that this was going to be the one. I just absolutely love the detail in this piece. So I just kept distressing with more and more black. I feel like on this side, I went a little too heavy with the black. I got all excited because I was like, wow, this is distressing beautifully. And I kind of went heavy on it. So later on, I fixed that. What I did was just take a little bit of the white Waverly and just barely dry brush it right back over the top and it evened it out. Easy peasy. So I had this blessed sign from Hobby Lobby and my camera went off as I was painting it, and I didn't realize it. But what I did is exactly what I'm doing right here. I didn't actually, what you would call, paint it. What I did was used my black chalkboard paint from Dollar General, and I just distressed it. But I very heavily distressed it, just like I'm doing here. I was actually finishing up on it right here. Um, I just went really heavy because I wanted a little bit of that wood color to come through. So here is a garland, a piece of a garland that I got off of Amazon. And I just picked it apart because it had all these little pieces on it that you could pull apart. And all I did was went around and glued the ends together on these so that it would go all the way around the inside of this piece. I'm going to speed this part up just a little bit because there was really no rhyme or reason as to how I was putting them down. I was just gluing the very ends of them and just letting the little leaf part um, kind of flow. I hope everyone's having a good week so far. I want to thank everyone that has been praying for my sister. Um, she went to Nashville just yesterday and she has decided that she is going to do one of those trials because the doctor told her she could do chemo again or do a trial or do nothing. So she went and talked to the doctor in Nashville. 
that is going to be doing the trial. And I just appreciate y'all's prayers. Thank you, and I love y'all for praying for her. I took three of those little blocks that come from the Dollar Tree, and all I'm doing is just kind of dry brushing them because they're going to go under the word blessed because that way it's going to pop out and look kind of like 3D. I think this is a beautiful way to do any sign. It just always turns out so pretty. So I took the blessed word and I laid those little blocks down where they needed to go underneath the word blessed to make it pop out and I put it in places where it would not be seen and then all I'm going to do is just glue this down. I take my favorite flower, these peonies, and I clipped off the stem and I'm going to just glue one to the top and one to the bottom. And this is it. I'm so proud of this sign. I think it's gorgeous and it's going to be perfect right over the top of my desk in my new craft studio. So I only have $4 in this sign. It was $2 at the thrift store and then the blessed sign was half off at Hobby Lobby. Normally $4, but I got it for 2 DIY number two is this reverse canvas art. I've always wanted to do one of these types of signs, and this is one of those 11 by 17 frames, canvas frames, that I got from the Family Dollar for a dollar a piece. And all I did was just cut the back off of it, the canvas, and then you just pull the canvas off. I then used the Waverly Antique Wax and a baby wipe to stain it. All I did was just wipe it on and then let it dry. I set that aside and so it could dry, and now we're going to work on the canvas. The first color that I'm going to use is Folk Art Deep Navy. I just put a little squiggly line and brushed it out with my paintbrush. This is such a simple technique, but it makes such a big presentation when you're done. So the next color that I'm going to use is called Blue Kazoo. <laughs> Basically, what you do is you take three different colors of, well, I picked blue. You could do green, you could do shades of pink, yellow, you could do any color you want. But I don't use a lot of blue, so I thought, hey, I'm going to try some blue. I put the blue kazoo down, brushed it out, and then you take that darker blue and lightly blend it. And then it goes just the blue kazoo. And then I use that blue lullaby. Um, it's a very light blue, very pretty. So you just brush it out and then you do the same thing. Pick up your other brush from the blue kazoo and kind of blend that line in. So basically what you do is you put down your three colors, but you also blend from one color to the next. So I blend it in from that deep navy to the blue kazoo to the blue lullaby. Then the very last color that I'm going to use is just simply white. It's the Waverly White. And then you put it at the top, and then you blend in that blue lullaby with the white. I've always thought these pictures were so pretty, how one color just blends into the next. So after you let your piece totally 100% dry, you're going to take your frame and you're just going to staple it to the back of the frame. Or you can also use hot glue. Just be careful when you do that. And then you just cut the excess off if there is excess from the canvas. Then I take my stencil. I got this off of Amazon, by the way, and I'll link it in the description box below in case you're interested in it. And I just put a couple of pieces of tape down so it won't 
you know, move around on me. And I thought what would be gorgeous is if I used that blue navy up at the top where the lighter colors are. And if I used the white at the bottom where the darker colors are. So I just use these cosmetic sponges. These are the ones that come from the Dollar Tree. And all you do is you don't load it up. You just get just a little bit on there. And I tap off any excess. And then I just kind of dab it on my stencil. I really took my time as I was doing this stencil. And I've also heard a lot of people say that they'll put down a layer of Mod Podge before they start stenciling because it helps it not to bleed. But I didn't do that. Then I swapped over to my white paint. This song has always been my favorite gospel song. I remember it from when I was a child and it holds those memories. And Every time I hear this song, it takes me back to that special place where I first heard the song and my cousin sings it. Come to the waters where you will find peace. Take a step into the river. Get down on your knees. Come to the mountain. Well, take it in the view. You will find the life is. Here comes the satisfying part. Look how beautiful this turned out, guys. There was a couple little places I just had to touch up, and I just used one of those white Dollar Tree markers to touch up the white part. And to touch up the blue part, I used a very, very small paintbrush, like a very tiny tip in, and used that deep navy. Then I took a few of my Sola Wood flowers and put a drop of the Deep Navy on it. And then I have one of those misting um, spray bottles that just mist. And I misted the water on it and just used that and my paintbrush to actually paint the flower. And they turned out so vibrant and beautiful. So I did a couple of the blue and then I wanted to do a white one. I used one that had a lot of the wood showing on it and I just barely touched the ends of it with the white. Then I simply just glued three of those at the top and two at the bottom. And that was it, guys. This was really simple, and it's so, so pretty. DIY number three is this gorgeous tray with the little arch. I couldn't find these arches for the life of me at any Dollar Tree around. And Miss Deandra, a subscriber of mine, sent me four and all kinds of goodies. Thank you so much, Miss Deandra. I love you so much. I took the little middle piece off. And this is kind of a grayish white color, but we're going to paint it white with Waverly chalk paint. I thought this would be quick and simple to paint, but man, I had to get in all those little nooks and crannies, and it took me a little while. So when I got it all painted, I used my dryer and dried it really well. So I used these little short handle chip brush sets, they're called. It's a little distressing brush from Plaid. It comes eight in a package, and these things are the best distressers ever. I even like them better than my pastry brushing set that I was using from the Dollar General. Those little pastry brushes that you brush butter on with and stuff. These are actually better though. 
I'm just going to distress it with the antique wax from Waverly. And I got this little cross at Hobby Lobby. It's in their section called Woodpile. It's normally 99 cents, but you know when you get everything half off, this was only 50 cents. And I just distressed it, did like a distressing type motion on both sides. My husband went to Goodwill and found this little tray that says Home Sweet Home and brought it back for me. And it has these nice little leather handles on the side of it. So what I'm going to do is use my antique wax and I'm just going to like do a distressing type motion over this whole little tray. So I decided to do this on the outside and the inside of the tray. I used one of the Dollar Tree jumbo size popsicle sticks and I just painted over it real quick like a distressing motion with the antique wax. I'm going to glue that down for stability for my little um, arch here. So that's going to go right on top of that. So then I just took my little cross and hot glued it right to the very center of the arch window. I put some candles in three of those little tin pails that come from the Dollar Tree in the wedding section. And it fit just right, but it felt like it still was missing something. So I took a small piece of a vine that I had from something else and I just glued it to the top. And I also took like two very small little flowers that I had and put them right in the center of the cross. And that's all I did. And this is how it turned out. My last DIY is this gorgeous little treasure box. So here is another Goodwill find from my husband. He got this for $2.99 at Goodwill, and it's just like a little treasure box. It's really heavy. It's a silver color, which I didn't like, so we're going to do it up with some truffle color from Waverly. I've never really used this color much. So I thought, hey, we'll give it a whirl. And I just gave it one coat all over. And this thing had all those little details all over it too, which I was tickled to death about. This little box just kind of came alive and I painted all the way around the outside. And I also painted the inside of the box with the truffle. I just want to take a moment to say thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys so very much. We have a lot of new subscribers. Guys, we are at 5,000. That means on my next video, it's giveaway time. And you guys know that I love to do giveaways. And I just want to thank you guys. And I've also been receiving a lot of little happy presents in the mail too, which tickles me to death when I get them. I usually cry when I get them. And uh, because it just touches my heart that you guys don't even personally know me, but you love me so much. And I love y'all right back. And I'm so, so thankful for y'all. I love you guys. I decided to distress this box with mineral. Since I've never used the truffle color, I know that mineral is one of my favorite colors to distress anything with. And I thought, man, that dark brown color is going to look so cool with mineral. And I was right. It just turned out, I mean, this is gorgeous. I, it's absolutely gorgeous. And all those little details came to life whenever, you know, you rub your, your um, distressing brush over it over those high points and it the paint just grabs and I didn't even notice it when I first got this box but there's two little angels in the very front and in the back like going toward the picture like one on each side I didn't even notice that before because it all blended in but when I started detailing this man it really came out and it's gorgeous 
My husband said I need to get a new word because I say everything's gorgeous, but I mean, I don't know any other word to say for this. I guess extraordinary. It's extraordinary, dear. This just makes me want to pull open the shades and have a spot of tea because I just love it and think it's gorgeous, my darling. Well, I said it again. Darn. Okay, I'm going to slow this down and let you guys see the angels I was talking about on the front. It also had these little line heads on the side of it. This box was just amazing. Not gorgeous, but amazing. So I'm going to take my truffle chalk paint, and I've got one of those candlesticks from uh, Dollar Tree that was already painted white from a previous DIY. And I just gave this a little wishy-washy coat. I didn't get a perfect coat. It's just kind of wishy-washy. So then I took my mineral chalk paint, and I'm just going to distress this and hit the high points of it. I want to show you how beautifully this candlestick distressed. Man, that color with the truffle and then the mineral is just amazing. So I take my medium strength Starbond glue, and this is the most amazing glue ever. I'm gonna put some of that on the candlestick, and then on the actual treasure box, I put the accelerator. And then after you spray the accelerator on, you just stick them together and voila. Look at those angels, how beautiful that is. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my new desk. Do you remember I was waiting on my desk to come in? It finally came. This is the Theodore standing desk from FlexiSpot. You just plug it in, and this has a keypad where it will go up and down. This desk will go as high as 49 inches tall, which comes right under my arm. Check this out. <laughs> That's crazy that this desk goes so high. So if I just want to stand up and work, I can do that. I don't have to sit down all the time, which is a good thing. Because I have a bad back, I don't always want to sit down. Sometimes my crafts, I need to stand up and it hurts me to bend over to do them. And then with just the touch of a button, it goes right back down and it goes all the way down to 29 inches. This desk has a gorgeous ergonomic design, very sleek, very nice and modern. And look at this, guys. Besides the keypad, it has three plugging stations for a USB. Three, where you can plug in all your devices while you work. My favorite is that it lifts up in the air. I just can't get over that not having to stay in a bent position to do my DIYs anymore or my work. And look at this great big drawer. I can fit my laptop in this drawer and just close it up, open it back up, and just get to work. I absolutely love this Theodore desk. And guys, I have a $15 off coupon in the description box below. If you're interested, you can get your very own standing Theodore desk. Only from FlexiSpot. This is an especially great option for if you work at home and you don't want to sit behind a desk all day. You can take breaks and stand and do your work. I love mine. You know it's that time again, guys. It's time to go. But I thank each and every one of y'all. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to every single subscriber. I hope y'all have a blessed week and I'll see you soon.